I got any show for y'all. Check this out. Making an accusation that people are not getting what they've asked for is Trump falsely claiming that the that the administration is withholding resources because of political affiliation. That is just as, not as true. Turn around and go, see, FEMA's not coming to help you because it's a Republican area. And then people go, see, see, no, not see. You've got to see for the first time in your life if you're MAGA, Donald Trump is a con man using you as his mark. Donald Trump's a ridiculous, pathetic liar. The Federal Emergency Management Agency is facing major backlash after confirming reports that a supervisor ordered disaster relief workers to avoid homes with Trump yard signs. So it turns out it was crew and she was fired, right? But it turns out it was a black woman. Here, here's another, uh, check this image out. No kidding, it's a black woman, huh? Yeah, it's a black woman, right? <laughs> Didn't see, see that coming. See, this is from like one of the uh, team's phones. Uh -huh. It says, avoid homes advertising Trump. Practice de-escalation and preventative measures. Communicate and follow rules. Bring a towel with you tomorrow in the field. Frequent breaks and drink water. Why don't you have to de-escalate situation when well, you're going to somebody's house to, to provide relief? Well, she's going to explain that. She, she interviewed with uh, Roland Martin. Uh -huh. and she Roland Martin? Yeah. Oh, he's credible. Well, he's, he's asking a question. This is what she has to say, why she did what she did. Okay. Check this out. Skipped the homes. And so when you talk about the incident reports, have you released those publicly? Have you, have you, have you released the report saying, this is where I notified I notified FEMA executives of these particular homes and how they were hostile to our workers. So I have not relinquished any reports. And any time that we relinquish reports, we do not state specific homes due to PII. What we do is we discuss community trends. So if we are noticing, for example, on Mary Street, you'll find three or four homes that we tried to canvas and we were, were greeted with unwelcomed uh, arms or, or people are coming out with guns blazing or he's screaming at us, then that's the street we need to avoid altogether. This was a text message that you sent us where one of the folks out there said, good morning, LaGro Road is politically hostile. We are not canvassing this street any further. Moved on to North Lakeview Road. Great decision, thanks for the update. Exactly. So my senior leadership was aware of the amount of encounters that was going on in the field. Again, this was my second time and a second crew in Florida and experiencing unwelcomed behavior from the residents. Now, not all Floridians have been unpleasant, but for the most part, the ones that are very passionate about their disdain for FEMA, they have no problem expressing it. Yeah, so that's why they were skipping um, homes for Trump size because they were being combative and they were just being obnoxious and being dangerous. So they just skipped the Trump homes. They were aggressive and being... Well, that's right, they are insurrectionists. It makes sense. I don't believe any of this. They come out with guns blazing. <laughs> Black woman, get off my property! <laughs> Look, Fabio, bow, bow, bow. I, that don't make any sense. Yeah, y'all there to help them, and they need help. Right. I don't believe any of that. So she was fired for skipping homes. <laughs> but she had a legitimate reason. These people are insurrection. <laughs> I don't believe any of that. I don't either. It's not shocking that it's a black woman. <laughs> yeah, that's just. I mean, look at look at got got these black people going out prosecuting Trump. Right. They said he he's he's a, he's a rapist and he raped and he's got thirty four felonies. These people have a alternate uh, reality of what's actually going on. They're living in a false sense reality. And she, I think she's being hyperbolic and she's just sensationalizing. No, she did want to help Trump supporters. Right. That's what's going on. Yeah. She didn't want to help him. Yeah. How many people got unalived in the field trying to provide assistance from FEMA? How many people were injured, choked out, got shot, stabbed? Yeah, how many people? 
Where's the evidence? Show me proof. Show me videos. I mean, everybody has a cell phone. You can't film this? I mean, I just think... I'm getting worked up over nothing because this didn't even happen. Like only Trump supporters, not Biden supporters in Florida, are obnoxious and rude yeah, um, and violent. This country's in trouble. Yeah, because the left is crazy. Yeah, these people... These people make... Anything, I mean, something so trivial is going to somebody's house, you see a Trump sign, and you walk away because you in fear of your life. No, you're not in fear of your life. You just don't like the other side's opinions. So you're going to treat them differently. I mean, that's the definition of of racism. Yeah. Trump supporters know what it felt like back in the 50s as a black person. You think they treated black people like that? See? Not as bad. Don't go to his house. He's black. Yeah, not as bad. Not at, least it, at least it would help you then, I would think. Don't go to his house. He's a Trump supporter. Yeah, this is nuts. Yeah. And it's by the people who have been oppressed uh, in history. Look like they would know better. Yeah. It's, you know what it is? It's trauma. What kind of trauma? It's like a trauma to black people. It's trauma. Everything's trauma to them. Yeah. And now they're taking out on other people. That's where it comes from, though. It's a trauma. Like, I think people, if you're going to work for your government, you got to pass a psychological evaluation. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. For FEMA, yeah, you should. Yeah, they got to do a thorough background check. They got to look at your, your, uh, your social media, investigate you thoroughly, because some of these people have a grudge against the other side because they might have a different opinions. And, Politically, yeah. Yeah, and they might go out and do something because of that. Can you call that racism? But you know what? Uh, I asked you a question. Yeah, it's racism. Well, why didn't you answer it? Classism is one of them isms. I asked you a question. You're just going to go blow right through it and just start talking. Yeah, it's, a, it's an ism. I don't know if it's racism. It's an ism. Racism is based on your skin color. It's based on political affiliation. I don't yeah. call it racism. So, I, call it, I just call it uh, political ism. And you know what's crazy? The media, the mainstream media, they're not after the truth. Nope. They covered for FEMA. There's yeah. no evidence of that. Just like up in Ohio, ain't nobody eating no dogs and cats. Yeah. Who said so? Well, the city manager said there's no report. <laughs> it's hey, there's like a, there's absolutely no evidence that something went wrong in the 2020 election. Yeah. Anything that makes a Democrat look bad, they will cover it. They'll cover it right. up. Yeah. They don't want it to come out. And that's the whole point of having the media is to expose what, the uh, truth. Yeah. Look what Jake, look what he was saying on Young Turks, on Young Turk. Turks, whatever. Turkish. Turks. Young Turks. Young Turks. Right? Yeah. So what he was saying, saying trouble's making, just trying to rile up his base. Just a pawn. Yeah, it's the same, it's the same tactic, same playbook. Oh, uh, they didn't let the Democrats uh, correct the board because Trump wanted to run on something. It's the yeah. same playbook, same yeah, tactic. Just gaslighting everybody. Yeah. They know the truth, but they, they're not after the truth. They're just after a narrative. They're just there to... <laughs> Support the Democrat Party. Yeah. Think about that, man. A hurricane come through your area of the world. The government's supposed to come in and help. Yeah. You got this black bitch <laughs> not going in there because it's Trump size. <laughs> Y'all's fault. Y'all brought us here. No, I took it too far on that. I mean, it's just kind of true. I mean, this country, seriously, this country's in trouble. Yeah. Not because the right have gone too right. The, 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 today's conservatives is the exact same as a pro-life liberal back when Clinton was in office. But the modern-day Democrat, you can't even recognize these people. Progressives. Yeah, they're not, they're not liberal, they're progressive. And they've hijacked that term liberal. Yeah, they don't even use it, though. They're progressive. They're not liberal. Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> Show's over. Your, your career's over. That's why I don't date black women. Yeah. Got too many issues. Yeah, too many headaches. <laughs> take my chances. I take my chances with a white racist <laughs> or Mexican. 